at the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. Stories of heroism from the veterans themselves. When we went into the water, we got separated. Like 95-year-old Bert Stolier, whose ship was torpedoed in 1942. And I was in the water by myself for three days and three nights. Losing hope, the Marine found comfort in memories of home and song. Smile, though your heart is breaking. Smile, even though it's aching. A tide shift on the third day carried Stolier closer to passing ships, and he took a chance. I swam around the back, and I looked up, and there was that gorgeous flag. Stolier's story is one of the countless told since the museum opened in 2000 with one building. It's now grown to five, with two more to come. The newest pavilion, Campaigns of Courage, opens on December 13th with the exhibit Road to Berlin. It includes high-tech interactive displays, personal stories, and artifacts, like this German staff car, and sand from the beaches of Normandy. We want people to understand what happened, why it happened, and what it means today. Clem Goldberger donated this photograph of her father, taken after his infantry breached one of Adolf Hitler's main defenses. She was able to bring her father to the museum before his passing. I think it gave him some peace, uh, some closure. And for veterans like Stolier, some purpose. I love being here, and it makes me feel good. Passing on their legacies to future generations. Stacy Plaisance, Associated Press, New Orleans.